the largest land animal in the world except for the elephant. The hippopotamus is larger, but is classed as an aquatic animal. Now this particular southern white rhinoceros has a Toronto connection. It was born in, 18, in 1963 in South Africa, came to the San Diego Zoo in 1965, and came to the Metro Zoo in 1974. And there he lived until he died in 2008. Along the way, he took part in breeding programs and sired three offspring. Now, you can see the southern white rhinoceros is not white. The white comes from the Afrikaner word bite, which means wide, because the animal has a very wide mouth. He's a grazer. He eats grass. And if you look at the animal, it's a large animal, about five and a half meters, about 16 feet long, and two meters, about six and a half feet high, weighing about 2.7 tons. And it has these large horns, which are made not of ivory, but of keratin, the same material as your fingernails. And they grow about the same speed. You can see that the animal has a very thick hide, and you'd think it would be resistant to anything, but it's actually very sensitive to sunburn and biting insects. So how does this animal protect himself? He rolls in the mud. <laughs> you can see he has small eyes. The eyes aren't much good, but he has an excellent sense of smell. The animal, when he has to move, can move quickly, up to 45 to 50 kilometers per hour. So by being hit by this animal would be like being hit by a medium-sized truck at highway speeds. The animal existed in the millions in the early 1800s in sub-Saharan Africa. But in 1800, the Europeans came on safari and everybody wanted to bag an elephant or a rhino. As a result, by 1895, the world population was down to 50 to 500 animals. And in the last century, because a large number of game preserves have been set up, a large number of national parks, and there has been a lot of anti-poaching legislation. The numbers have come up to 14,000 in 2012. But in the last two years, the numbers have fallen appreciably. And the reason is that the powdered rhinoceros horn is valued by some people as a compound with great restorative powers. So much so that the black market price is $65,000 a kilogram, that works out to about $1,800 an ounce, more than the price of gold. So you can imagine, if you were a poacher and you killed a rhinoceros for the horn, you would be looking at a lot of money, probably a million dollars. This is the reason for the poaching. And the South African government is working hard to try to stop the poaching, but right now we're losing the battle. This animal, at the present rate, will become extinct some 10 to 50, 50 years down the road. So hopefully we can save it. Now from here, we're going to go to another animal with the Toronto Collect Connection that existed right here about 12,000 years ago. Let's go this way.